Mercedes just made automotive history by test driving the world's first EV powered by a solid state battery, becoming the first company ever to put one in a car and actually drive it. This proves that solid state batteries are not just lab experiments anymore. I don't know if you remember when we made a video early last year about Mercedes plans to eventually ship cars with this technology. They have now taken a big step but still mass production is still a challenge due to the high cost, meaning these batteries will likely be limited to high end models for now. And I will explain the reason behind high cost of making solid state batteries in a minute. But for now, this is a big achievement because for over a decade, solid state batteries have been hyped as the next big thing in EVs promising longer range, faster charging and improved safety compared to today's lithium ion batteries. But with all this and countless press releases and promises from automakers, nobody could actually get one working in a real car that is until now until Scamchan even gave up on them. So the way that solid state batteries work and why they've been so hard to develop is because of how they work. So traditional lithium ion batteries use liquid electrolytes to move ions between the anode and cathode, which can overheat, degrade over time and limit energy density. But solid state batteries, as the name suggests, replace that liquid with a solid electrolyte, usually a ceramic or polymer material. This makes them safer, no fire risk from leaks, more energy dense, meaning longer range, and potentially capable of ultra fast charging. We had made a video explaining about how this battery works and I will leave a card here at the top in case you wanna watch it. So making them work reliably at scale has been a problem because solid electrolytes can be brittle, leading to cracks. This is why these batteries often require expensive, rare materials. And as such, getting them to function well in real world conditions, like the vibrations and temperature swings of a moving car has taken years of R&D. That is why companies like Toyota QuantumScape and Volkswagen have poured billions into research, only to face delays and setbacks. That's why Mercedes' achievement is so impressive. Of course, don't expect to see solid state Mercedes vehicles in showrooms anytime soon because the cost of making them stills remains sky high. That is why the plan is to have early adopters be luxury buyers as they try to improve the, the tech over time until it gets to a point where it's cheaper to make them than lithium ion batteries.